the UK sector is dynamic, it's creative, it's energetic, but I think we're also humble. We know that we have a huge amount to learn from successful cooperative sectors right around the world. And that's one thing we will definitely be taking away from the events here in Manchester and Cooperatives United, is the hope, the inspiration and the guidance of cooperative movements uh, internationally. Cooperatives are people-based businesses and so when cooperatives get together there really is a very special spirit and that'll certainly be the case here at Cooperatives United. I'm looking forward to listening to cooperative experience from right around the world. The museum is of enormous importance, not just nationally but globally and I know as I've gone around the world and spoken to people, I was at a school in Argentina where there was a school called uh, the Pioneers of Rochdale School and I saw the children there giving a little play about how, what the pioneers did and this is in Argentina and, and that sort of thing is very powerful emotionally so it has an enormous impact all around the world. Everybody knows the Rochdale pioneers. And there actually are two important trends that are converging in this document and that we want to converge in our work today. Um, one of those is the direction that General Assembly gave to ICA, that our members gave us, that Pauline alluded to, to create an overarching strategic direction to align the organization, to ensure that all of these different decision-making bodies have some agreement on where we're collectively taking the cooperative movement and we wanted to draw together the 100 top leaders in the cooperative movement, which is how we see the people in this room today, to ensure that we're not moving in fragmented silos, siloed ways, even as we recognize that there will be very different plans necessary for very different bodies. We want to ensure that we're moving in an aligned way. The second overall sort of macro level convergence here is the international year of cooperatives and the momentum that it has created, the enthusiasm that we've seen, the embrace of that year by members around the year, around the world. And we want to ensure that we're using that as a foundation that we can leverage for the rest of the decade. So we believe that the United Nations uh, recognition of cooperatives has created this foundation that we have an obligation to build on and that's the purpose of the blueprint. The plan really is driven by a, by a vision. The cooperative should become the model of enterprise that is authentically identified, identified as the most sustainable. And that if we can do that, and we'll talk about sustainability in a second, if we can do that, it will then become the model favored by people and it will, by the end of this decade, become the fastest growing form of enterprise in the world. 